pertaining to the mission of Bird Conservancy of the Rockies, all three of the programs, the science, the education, the stewardship, are all a vital part of wildlife conservation. The conservation efforts that we're talking about are landscape-wide, from Canada down to Mexico. By delivering sound science, creating education that folks can grasp and, and understand and enjoy, uh, applying the proper stewardship, our conservation goals can be met. The Integrated Monitoring in Bird Conservation Regions program provides information on breeding bird populations throughout the western United States and helps inform management decisions for private landowners as well as national forests and government lands. The IMBCR program is really special because it's really the first time that we've been able to get accurate, scientifically defensible estimates of bird populations over large regions. My job is focused on bringing in partnerships and maintaining the partnerships that we have. We have folks from federal agencies. We also have state wildlife agencies that we work with, non-governmental agencies. The longer term that we do the project, the better so we can estimate trend for different species so we can see if populations are increasing or decreasing or staying the same, which will allow us to focus on the priority species, the ones that are in most need. We monitor the national forests for goshawks. So using it as an indicator species, we might be able to tie in some of the information like our integrated monitoring and bird conservation region project. We can look at that data and relate that to how the goshawks are doing as well. We were doing some monitoring on black swifts in Colorado, just looking for nest sites. A lot of mystery still with the species. Uh, they're very difficult to study because they nest remote locations in the wilderness areas and waterfalls and you know it's slippery and dangerous conditions. We've increased the number of known breeding sites just in Colorado from 36 up to 112. Nobody knew where black swifts went in the winter. We figured out that they migrated to South America, to Brazil. Some of the points went down into Paraguay. But it was great just to have some idea of where they're gone. Banding does two things. It gives us this opportunity to learn more about the individual birds that we capture and what that says about the populations and how well they're doing. It also allows us to share this information with the public. We have school kids out every day and there's something about the attachment that they can get with those birds, just seeing them, maybe holding them in the palm of their hand that gives them a feeling that can last a lifetime. We say people change their minds, but what people really do is change what's in their hearts. And we're aiming at the Banny Station to get to the kids' hearts. That's been one of our key components of our overnight camps, figuring out a way to bridge the worlds between um, kids' lives back home and, and what they experienced at camp. What I've learned about conservation here at camp is that it's important to conserve and protect things that we may have for our kids. We want them to see these beautiful sites. We want them to be able to climb there for summer. Conservation is really important because it shows that every life does matter. Humans aren't the only things that matter. Birds matter too, and so do other animals. They are often really intense, really um, profound experiences that sometimes can't be explained by words. Our camps do a lot more than just introduce kids to the outdoors. We actually give kids a chance to go sit on a rock and take a look at what's going on around them and realize how small they are and yet how important they are in the world around them. And in that process, kids discover who they are. Um, they actually go home and, and they realize that there's new passions that have been lit. We keep an eye on a lot of different key indicator species. Mountain plover can fit right into that. 
pretty amazing what we've learned over the years with all the research and the science, the grad student projects that we've worked with with the Mountain Plover, bringing that information to the public and other agencies, raising awareness of the species and what they do in their different habitats. It's a very important link to bring all these folks together. We've got that collaboration between all these agencies and private landowners and the general public also. And they get excited about the program and a lot of these people didn't even know these birds were here. Uh, there's still a lot of people out there. We hope to catch them in the future and we'll continue with our outreach. Bird Conservancy helped me to understand my landscape, how important it was to, to offshore grass prairie wildlife. In, in fact, really just changed my perspective. For the Bird Conservancy to take that kind of interest it, it takes dollars. It takes manpower and folks to put them on the ground. Stewardship is what is driven by that educational opportunity, by the landowners having the chance to understand firsthand what they have on their property, how important it is to the wildlife, gives them the opportunity then to work their lands to the benefit of all those resources and that is, after all, what conservation is all about. A bird's life, a lot of it is a huge black box that we don't know about, we don't understand, because we often view them just on the breeding grounds or just on the wintering grounds. Full life cycle biology it allows us to connect those two places and to see how important the areas are in between. You know, at times it's hard to be optimistic, but if I wasn't optimistic, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I think we can change the future. It's up to us. We know very little about migratory grassland birds, but we're learning a lot with our full life cycle research on the breeding grounds in the Great Plains and the wintering grounds in Mexico. One of the main things we're investigating is where these birds are experiencing the biggest challenges to their survival. This knowledge is critical to conservation efforts to help us ensure these birds are here for future generations.